Hello and welcome back to Bracken Fix. My name's Pete and we're going to do something slightly different this time, um, but there is method in my madness. So I've actually seen these um, Elegoo R3 uh, project kits um, on Amazon a lot. And you may remember that one of the reasons I started this channel was so I could learn electronics. Now I've done quite a few videos and done some a few things and some have been successful, some haven't. But I don't really feel like I'm learning electronics. And from what I've read, um, this is the sort of kit that can really help me understand things. For example, I don't really understand um, resistors. I appreciate they resist um, the flow of electricity, um, um, and that's ohms. But uh, why and how and what, what? why? So this is what this sort of kit will be really, really good at. Hopefully it will teach me. Um, I have no affiliation with Elegoo. Um, they didn't send me this. I bought this myself um, on Amazon. I think it was 45-ish pounds, English pounds. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, I've actually always wanted one. I also got this really cool, um, like, I don't know what you call it, a holder, tray, I suppose. Um, so what you do is you get to put your breadboard in here and then you put your, um, your Arduino... Um, or a Duino sort of clone thing here in one of these and then it just keeps it all together um I don't really know whether it makes a big difference but it looks cool and it was only about eight pounds so um yeah I thought well why not eh um so yeah I'll put uh, links to both of them in the description um obviously I don't know how good they are but um, I'll do it anyway because then you if they're good then you know to buy them if they're not good then you know to avoid them but um I'm, I'm, I've got quite good hopes for this um so it comes in this quite snazzy little case which is very cool comes with a CD. Um, unfortunately, um, I don't have a CD-ROM. Um, I've actually recently um, upgraded from a laptop, which I was doing all of my editing and everything on, to a, a proper PC. Now, um, it sounds slightly bizarre, bearing in mind what I do for a living, but I actually haven't had a PC, as in a computer tower, for, blimey, I don't know, 10? Well, no, maybe more like nearly 12 years, I think. Um, so yeah, so I've actually moved to a computer and it's got lots of RAM and graphics cards and stuff and it really helped with the uh, with the editing and the uh, you know production of these videos. But it does not have a CD-ROM drive in it. But fear not, um, you can download everything from the Elegoo website, it would appear, uh, which I've done and I'll show you when we get to that part. Oh, actually it says on the disc itself, actually, that you can download it. Ah, oh, there you go. It actually tells you there that we can download it from the uh, website, which is good. So, yeah, so we'll, uh, we don't need that one, so we'll put that away. Um, it comes with um, a quite impressive amount of things. So uh, you get the Uno R3 board, which must be this one. Um, as you can see, I haven't taken anything out of here. Uh, yep, so we'll open that in a minute. Uh, you get a remote control as well, very cool. Uh, you get a um, an LCD uh, module, which I think will be quite important at some point. Um, I like the idea of this system because... Um, it's got all the projects um, built in, um, or you know you can follow them, which I just think is a really really good idea. So I can literally work my way through it. And I'm actually going to film them all um, because, um, well, because I want to really, if I'm being honest with you. So yeah. So what else have we got? Um, oh, you get a uh, oh, a prototype expansion module. This looks very cool as well. Okay. Uh, you get lots of oh, so this is a stepper motor. Um, so. Yeah, that's very stiff. I assume it's supposed to be. Um, and it comes with lots of other things as well. You've got lots of resistors and um, the cables, because the whole point of this is that, uh, so that's so you can plug the Arduino into your computer. Um, these are so you can put load on the motors, which is good from so you don't just spin up. But the whole point of this is basically this breadboard so it means that you can make electronics and you don't have to do any soldering which obviously I enjoy soldering um, you've seen in some of my videos that I do soldering quite a bit but um, actually it's all about this breadboard so I don't really want to say what it is and then make it sound like I know what I'm talking about because that's not fair because I've only learnt myself today uh, but essentially uh, what it is is that all of these rows here, so you can see A, it's got A to J, uh, A to E, um, all these um, holes here are connected together, so inside there's a piece of metal that connects all those. So basically all of those along that row, so um, A1 uh, to A, uh, sorry, to 1E um, are all connected together, so you can put, so they're, they're on the same thing, but the one below it is not connected to the one above it, which means you can, 
sort of do prototyping and, and things. Um, I think it will become clear later. And then you've also got um, plus, uh, so you've got a positive and negative on both sides. Um, and then the gap in the middle is basically, I mean, you know, they're not connected together. So um, one um, E and one D are connected, but one F and one G um, are connected, but they're not connected to each other. So one E and one F are not connected. Uh, I believe that's the point. This is actually quite a substantial piece of plastic. I wasn't expecting that. And the good thing is, is that they are a standard size. Uh, so that fits in there nicely like that. Uh, oh, I see. I think it's because you've got a, uh, you can take that, that's a sticky backing. So we'll stick that on there. And then, should we open this up? It's quite exciting, isn't it? This is um, Elegoo's version of the um, Arduino Nano, uh, Uno, sorry, Nano, <laughs> Uno. Uh, yeah, so that basically goes in here somewhere, here. Oh, there you go, look. There you go, so you can see that all the all the holes line up. So we'll screw that in with the supplied screws and stuff. And it means that we can just literally then just put the jumpers between here and just keeps it all together. That's really nice, I like that. <laughs> The kit also comes with a power supply, so this means that you can uh, provide 5 volts directly to, and 3.3 volts, directly to the breadboard. So, I believe you just put it like that. Ah, oh, see, it fits in perfectly. Ooh. It would do if I didn't. So there we go, you can see that it fits perfectly, and then you've got, um, yes, a 3.3 or a 5 volt there. Um, I don't know how it works, obviously, because we haven't got to that part, but that's what that's for. Um, but I believe most of the um, instructions are going to say just use the um, 5 volt and 3.3 volt from the um, the Uno, but you've got both options then, which is quite cool. And you've also got a, a humidity, a temperature and humidity module, which is quite cool, I like that. That's actually really nice. Um, and you have also got, um, yeah, stepper motor. Uh, driver which is cool because that means that will connect into there what else is in this little box of tricks all oh, very exciting oh yeah it's got a um a joystick um module like out of a um actually i know this from the playstation controllers but i'm, I'm sure they're all the same aren't they let's be honest so we've got that as well which i'm sure will come in handy a lot later um that's oh, a relay isn't it i know these from cars so yeah so there you go, here, yeah, five, 5 volt relay, and lots of other things as well. We'll come across them as we go through the uh, through the uh, the projects that come with the uh, with the kit. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put all this away because I've made a mess. Um, we will then attach the breadboard um, and the Uno to this, and then what we'll do is we'll make sure we've got all of the uh, software and everything installed on the computer. And then we'll start going through the first project. Um, I believe the first project, from what I've seen, I've only seen the first couple, um, is to make this light here flash, which is uh, yeah, which is cool because I mean we get, actually get to program this and tell it to flash that light um, at a certain interval, I assume. So let's go on to that one. There we go. I've just removed the backing uh, sticky backing paper on this one, and that is in there, and I've screwed this one in. So. It comes with a battery, which is cool, and a connector for this. So that's nine volts. So we'll plug this in here, and okay, we get uh, an on light, and that light there flashes a bit. So I think the first proper uh, bit of coding that you do, as it were, is just slightly change that. So let's go and try that, shall we? So um, yeah, we'll make sure we've got all the uh, software installed and the IDE and everything, and we'll go from there. So here we are on the PDF that you get uh, from um, Elegoo. It is 163 pages. It's quite impressive. Um, so um, it gives you information about the company, which is great. Um, tells you what's in um, the super kit that uh, this relates to, which is the one that I've got. Uh, and you can see here all the different lessons that we're going to go through. Um, I am actually going to do them all. So, um, yeah, I'm not saying it's going to be 24 um, actual videos. I should imagine we'll probably do quite a few uh, 
on each one. See how time goes. But, uh, so, the uh, first thing you need to do is install the IDE. Um, there's lots of videos how to do this. Plus, these are really good instructions. I've already done that. Um, here it is. Here's the IDE. So in the IDE, we are able to uh, write our code, which we can then um, send to the UNO, and then it will carry it out when you reboot it, I assume. So uh, yes, lesson zero is all done. Um, add the libraries and open the serial monitor. So that um, I haven't done yet, um, actually. I haven't actually connected it to the computer yet. I thought we'd do that together. So what we'll do is we will um, connect up the UNO to my computer and see what happens. Just connected the uh, UNO to my computer and you can see uh, I'm in device manager and in ports. Um, we've got uh, COM port 3 um, is assigned to the um, Arduino which is fantastic. Um, so we'll go to the IDE again and bring up the instructions. So um, it's saying that um, there's a button here. Oh yeah, look, serial monitor up in the uh, the top corner there. Uh, we need to make sure we've got it all set properly. So we've got COM port 3 and the Arduino, so it's done it all for me, which is brilliant. Uh, it should say we've got something like this, but we've just... Oh, what's that do? Oh. Oh, we need to make sure we've set the right board, I suppose. Right, well, that's 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 that done then. So, um, excellent. <laughs> okay, lesson number two, blink. Now, this is the one I was saying where we're going to make that LED change to blinking. Um, so, when we plugged it in, and in fact, now it is plugged in in front of me, and I can see that actually um, it's already blinking. Um, and it says here that um, it already blinks um, because it, already, it comes shipped with blink. But we're still going to change it anyway. So um, so it says here that uh, we go to uh, File, up here, Examples, uh, Basics, and Blink, here. So that's going to open a new window, it looks like. So we'll put that over there. Ah, here we go. So um, at the top, it's got um, some notes. So it's in a lighter color, which means uh, that um, the, the system doesn't read it. It's just information for humans to read. Um, I've never seen this ID, by the way, but um, I used to be um, a programmer. So uh, I used to do something very similar. Um, OK, so we're initializing um, yeah, the, 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 the pins on the actual uh, board, uh, which is good. Um, and then this will just loop around. So it looks like it uh, puts it on f high power. Um, it waits for a second. Uh, OK, that makes sense. Yes, it's got a delay. And then it turns it off, and it's got a delay. And it will just keep looping until you tell it to stop or turn it off, I suppose. So there we go. So that's what that's, that's, what that's telling us. Um, Okay, so we've already done this. We've made sure that the uh, the board is the correct one, and we've got the right com board. So down here, it's telling us exactly what, where we are and what we've got. Click on the upload button. Oh, is that one there? Oh yeah, look. Okay. Well, in which case, should we? Are we supposed to change it, or are we not allowed? To, we're not supposed to do that yet. Am I jumping ahead? Right. Okay. In which case, let's let's upload it and see what happens. So compiling sketch, which is good. Uploading it. Fantastic. Not getting a done though, are we? Where's that done show? Uploading final status. We'll change to done. Oh, done uploading. Oh, yeah, but, hmm. I'm sure it is. So this is set to one second blink, and I think that's about one second. So why don't we change this to two seconds and see what happens. So I've changed this to two. 
will upload. Oh, we got some more lights on the uh, on the board. Ah, there we go. So uh, there we go. That's uh, that's about two seconds. I definitely think that's slower. Let's see if we can make it faster. Once we put it as five hundred, which would be half a second. Surely it will blink very very fast. Let's see what happens. There you go. Excellent. Okay, so well, well, I think that one's done then. Oh, okay, this is just explaining uh, what this is actually doing, although that's something different. Initiate LED 13, but that's not in here. How bizarre. Anyway, okay, so there we go. So it turns it on high. Uh, oh, there she says to change it here. Look, haha, you see? I did jump ahead. What a rascal. So lesson number three um, is going to show us how we change the brightness of LEDs using resistors, which is exactly what I was hoping to learn. So we need the UNO, um, an LED, that makes sense. Um, oh, uh, three different types of resistor. Um, and oh, some jumper wires. So we'll go back and have a look at the breadboard and start seeing what this is going to show us. So it looks like we then need to obviously LEDs have a um, positive and negative legs. The longer one is the positive. Um, resistors don't have a polarity, um, as I understand, so they can go in any way, which is handy. Um, it tells you how to read the bands on uh, resistors, which is very good. I've shown you that in uh, another one of my videos, actually. Oh, wow, a schematic. Now, these are something I really don't really understand at all. So, yeah, so we've got 5 volts coming out of the UNO going to... That must be a resistor, so that is a resistor. <laughs> um, that's an LED. It would have, Well, it's the only thing left, and then go to ground, so... Yeah, so the power flows through like that. Um, so what are we going to do? So we're going to put um, the 5 volts from the UNO onto the positive rail. And then we're going to put the ground to the ground or negative. That makes perfect sense. So we're going to put the negative, so the shorter leg uh, in here somewhere. And then the resistor is going to go from the positive to somewhere. I don't think it's, it doesn't really matter where, I assume. Um, and then that's because obviously once that's connected, all of this line is then on the same circuit. And then the positive will go to there. So that makes, yeah, that makes sense, I suppose. So it will go from from here to here. And then it will travel up here through the resistor and then the LED back down and back then to ground. Okay, that makes sense. Let's let's do that. Uh, oh, yeah, it's got a picture for us to have a look at. But essentially the same thing as I said. Oh, don't want to jump ahead. So let's go and let's go and replicate this um, ourselves. So I've got myself a uh, red LED that came in the kit. I've also found um, a red and a black wire. Um, there are longer and shorter ones. These are the shortest ones I can find. I have actually bought some um, um, sort of uh, pieces of metal that go between these. Um, I can't remember what they're called now. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I can uh, put the actual name um, uh, while I'm in the edit. I'm going to put it right um, here. So, but at the moment, this is what I've got. So this is what I am. Uh, I'm going to use, and then. In here, there must be all of those different uh, resistors that it asked me for. So, being careful to take these out. God, there is a lot of them. So there we go. We've got a uh, uh, we've got one k there. Uh, we've got ten k as well. Um, and the other one was. 220 wasn't it there it is look 
I get a lot of those. So we only want one of these out of each pack, so. So as you remember, um, it said that we basically had to um, connect um, the positive um, so to the five volts um, on the on here uh, oh which annoyingly is over there oh, you see so if we plug that into the five volt one there and then move that over and plug it into over here somewhere so we'll put it into this one here and then ground GND and we'll put that into the ground over here so then we want to put the resistor into there and into say here so that now is effectively um, transferring uh, positive uh, into this row here. So then this is the longest leg, so that was positive as well. So that would go there and then between there and negative, which is over there. Oh my goodness. I see there's probably a way of doing better planning. So I think that's how it's supposed to be. So we've got uh, five volts coming along here into the positive uh, rail. And then that will then move through this resistor onto this row. It doesn't matter where you put it in the row, I don't think. That will then move to through the uh, LED uh, into the negative, which then runs down here and then to the ground. So that should work, right? Let's plug this in and see what happens. The lights come on, so I think that means I've done something right. Well, it must do, because the only way the power can get to here now is via that resistor. So that is at 220. So that brightness there is 220. So if we unplug this, take this 221 out, put that over there, and then pick up this 1K, so does that mean that it's going to be less bright because it's got more resistance, surely? Is that how that works? <laughs> so plug that in there and that in there and plug this in. That is definitely not as bright, is it? Definitely not. Oh, okay. So that's the 1K. So let's put the this one here in instead. So that goes into positive and goes into there. So it takes the power from there, there, to 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 there. Plug this in. And again, that's just nowhere near as bright, is it? Okay, so that makes perfect sense. So the higher the resistor, obviously we all know this, but the higher the resistor number, so the, the, the higher the number of ohms resistance, uh, the less bright that is. Okay, so that I understand, that is fa fairly basic, but I see so, so many circuits with just loads and loads and loads of resistors, and I just don't understand why. Um, I'm hoping this is gonna tell me. So there we go, so that's the first lesson over. Um, that's really, really cool. Um, and I don't think you can just do it, I think if you just put the power straight to that, I think it causes all sorts of problems. So, yeah. Okay, so hang on, I've got a multimeter, haven't I? Kind of talking to myself there, wasn't I? <laughs> Are you all going, yes, Pete, you have got a multimeter. Well done. So. What 
what I was just going to see if I could work out was it says 1.764 volts going through there with that one so if I unplug this and change that back to the 220 what would happen then so much brighter okay so if we put oh, that one there and that one there there we go you see over two volts again which makes perfect sense but it's just an excuse to use my multimeter which i love very very much so there we go groundbreaking stuff um in that we've just proved that a resistor so the lower the ohms on the resistor uh, the brighter the led like i said not groundbreaking science this isn't um we all know that but it's nice that we've just proved it um right in which case on to the next one um this one's um got about um rgb apparently which is quite exciting lesson number four so um rgb um rgb is obviously red green blue um so it looks like with this one um, we're going to be using the actual UNO itself to to write some code in there I should imagine so it will actually let us change the color of the uh, LED I guess in some way um, this is quite cool it tells you all about um, um, RGB um, LEDs oh ooh, they got oh I see they've got more legs ah uh, see that makes sense so they've got a common cathode um, and then they've got blue, green, and red, or red, green, blue, RGB. Right, that makes sense. So that must be the common cathode there then. Right, yeah, that all makes sense. And I'll see, yes. We remember this from when we were in uh, art class, don't we, in, uh, in school? And absolutely not. So this is really cool. So it's showing the waveforms. Um, one of the reasons I want to get an oscilloscope is so I can see this um, myself. Um, and again, it's um, I always thought that when you like I use a dimmer switch, for example, it just sent less power. But what, it sends the same amount of power, but it turns on and off just extremely quickly. Um, so you can see here that um, yeah, it's that one's turned on less than it's uh, sorry it's turned yeah turned on less than it's turned off so you only get five percent and then other way around for ninety percent so yep we'll get good at these schematics okay so we've got a 220 ohm resistor off pin three five and six and that'll go to the different leds okay yes there must be some code surely so we plug the LED into um, yeah four of the lines. Obviously, the there'll be the cathode. I think it said that the cathode is the longest one on here, which is confusing because normally the longest is the uh, is the uh, is the positive. But never mind. Um, yep, two hundred and twenty uh, ohm resistors, and they're going to six, five, and three R G B. Okay, yeah, we can remember that. Ah, there we go. So when you download the information, um, you get loads and loads of um, files with it. So let's pull up this uh, now and see um, where it all is. Hang on. Okay, so this is actually part of the uh, zip file that you get from the uh, download on the website. So we'll go to English, Code, and RGB, RGB. Uh, and we'll open that one. Blimey, okay, it's actually quite a big one, this one. So, um, okay, so this makes sense. So it's telling you which pin uh, each colour is attached to. Remember the one we saw on up here? Look, there we go. So red will be six, green will be five, and blue will be three. That makes perfect sense. Um, and it's just telling the pin mode, so it's telling you that they're outputs, because uh, obviously we'll be outputting the power to the actual um, LED. Uh, and it's telling you to put red on and green and blue low. Uh, off, I'm sorry, I assume low means off. Um, G, 
choose the... Oh, blimey, okay, so... Um, oh, fading time between colours. This is just brilliant, actually, tells you what each one of these does. Um, it's actually quite complex, I've got to be honest. Blimey, that is very complex in reality. <laughs> we went from basically flashing to you know using integers and <laughs> and doing fades and stuff which is fairly impressive um it's quite nice it, it does actually ex um, explain it to you quite well here um okay so we can do that so we've got to put an led in here with rgb um 220k uh, 220 ohm not 220k 220 ohm resistors uh going to these cards oh i see we've got the wires have got the right colors which is quite nice so, uh, yes, okay, this all makes sense. Let's go and um, let's go and do that. Oh, we need to upload this to the actual um, thing, don't we? So, let's upload. Uploading done, it says. Right, let's go and replicate this. Okay, full disclosure, uh, this is actually take two, because the first time I didn't press record. Not particularly clever for a YouTuber, is it? But anyway, so, um, we have the RGB LED with the four legs on it. Um, the longer leg, which I've obviously bent when I took it out, but the longer leg is actually longer. <laughs> the longer leg is actually longer, dear lord. The longer leg is actually the uh, negative. Like I said, normally the longer leg is positive, but because there's four legs on this one, it does make sense to make it different. So yeah, that's that one there. So we're gonna put that um, over here somewhere. So it's closer to this. So we'll put it in there. Just make sure all of them are in. And then we're just moving it back just so we can see a bit better actually. So ground, so ground goes into this one here and then as you remember it was this leg here so we'll follow it and then we'll put it about there so red was a number six so red goes there and then we want it in this one here because the first leg here is red and then we want green which was five so we'll put that into this one here and then b for blue was number three and then you plug that one in there why did i do them there actually sorry i must have put them way back here i do apologize for that. Uh, the reason we want to put them back here is because when we put these in which have got nice long legs we can then they can be slightly sort of out the way as it were so we'll put that one there like i said this is take two which is why these look so awful because i've put them in and i can take them back out again slightly annoying as you can imagine but there we go we live and learn or you're supposed to live and learn i'm not entirely sure i do sometimes so this one's a bit more difficult because it's in the middle of all the others but uh, there we go that one there into that one there there we go, but it's not pretty, but it will do the job. So, let's plug this in and see what happens. You ready? We have green, blue, ah, to red. Excellent. Oh, that's really nice. And I assume if we just take one of these out, that colour stops working. So this would have been blue I've just uh, disconnected. So there we go. Yeah, you can see there's like a little skip. We pull out the red. We only go from blue to green with a little skip. And obviously if then if we pull this one out, it all stops. A fan a dabby dozy. Well that's brilliant. I'm really happy with that. That seems to be working really well. Okay, so we'll end this video here because um, 
yeah, I, I think the next ones are going to start getting a little bit more difficult. So um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want to see the rest of these videos. Um, so I'm going to work my way through the tutorials and then I'm actually going to start doing some of my own things. But I think I need to learn everything first. Um, plus, there's still plenty of um, projects on this uh, on this particular um, uh, kit that I bought from Amazon. So, um, yeah, thanks again. Uh, see you again soon. Bye-bye.